team. You'll be infiltrating the base from its main entrance. All of our recon efforts indicate it remains fully powered by the thermal reactor. Once inside, you'll need to access the bottom floor. It's 20 levels down, but the elevator system will ease the burden. What kind of recon operation did you run? We sent a few teams of DBs, but lost contact. The truth is, we needed somebody with access. Keegan, you're up. I'm on. Officer Corporal Jeremiah Keegan. Welcome to Sanctum. Wait, Corporal? I outrank you? Yeah, long story. Alright, guys, now that we have access to Sanctum, I'm officially initiating our operations. Control has assigned your team designation as Scorpio. Copy that, Hannah. Scorpio moving in. All arrivals must report in with our Sanctum security officers. Please proceed to the waiting area in an orderly fashion. Security officers? Gotta make sure the right people get in. What exactly does the right people say? Sanctum was meant to protect the most important cog citizens. Scholars, politicians, celebrities. And which category did you fit in, Gramps? None of the above. Working for important people. This is decontamination. There should be a final security checkpoint on the other side. All citizens of Sanctum are required to undergo decontamination protocol before entering the facility. Please step into a chamber to begin. Initiating decontamination. You'd think with how bad the COD was losing the war, they'd be willing to take in any poor soul that survived. Still need to follow protocol. Protocol, my ass. <laughs> Decontamination complete. Proceed to the briefing room for further instruction. This is my kind of sanctuary. It's engineered, it has a system, it's an order to it. The real confidence. This is where new arrivals would have been processed. After proper clearance, of course. I should be able to get the system online. Just need a second here. That should do it. Activating Sanctum Core Systems. Stand by. So, what happened to you? The volcano powering the thermal generators? <clears throat> Ended up being too unstable. The whole place was deemed uninhabitable. So oh, after the war, they turned it into a locust burial site. Warning. Biological threat detected. The hell? Something's trying to get through. Defensive positions! Raytag! Looks like we found your robot, Anna. Anna covered in swarm shit! Damn it! We sent DBs into the ventilation system, and... Take it! Clear! Swarm infected DBs. There's no end to the cog's shite to clean up. Welcome to my life, kid. Oh, great. Uh, that would be the DR1 we sent to protect the rest of the DBs.
keep moving. Warning. Further access to authorized personnel only. There should be another terminal around the corner. You're up again, Keegan. On it! Authorization granted. Proceed. <laughs> Who'd have thought my clearance would come in handy all these years later? difficult, but it proves that we need experienced human soldiers to deal with the swarm. It's what Hoffman's been saying since the threat first emerged. Glad to hear that the Colonel and I are of similar minds. Yes, me? First Minister Jin's always been a bit too eager to use robots to solve her problems. My opinion? Find a plot of land far from all cog civilization. You'd be surprised how much better life can be without their constant meddling. So what the hell are you doing working for? Well, Keegan, I'm a complex man. In the world. Ah, someone installed the fuse wrong way round. Ah, got it! That's my. Imagine living buried down here for the rest of your life. Would rather die in the sunshine than live underground. Give me vast open spaces, a good friend, and a bottle of whiskey. That's the way I want to go. Whiskey can be a friend. This, I can't fix. <laughs> Think outside the fuse box, kid. Oh, is it, is it just a volcano? That's another brilliant cog idea, isn't it? Throw the last of humanity into a fucking volcano. Anyway, the elevators are on the far side of the main hub. Hannah, we've got an infestation coming up into the hub from below. Damn. The hive is growing faster than we predicted. What's back here? Let's find out. Gas bomb going to do the job. Yes, yes, of course. As long as you deliver the bomb to the center of the hive, it should work. Should work? Enough. Let's get down there. Oh, 
Only 18 more levels to go. What's our best route, Hannah? Find the stairs. Oh, and avoid the elevator. Out of range. Wonderful. This is the only way out. Let's go. to the thermal control room. Should be another access console somewhere. The console looks offline. But I'll give it a try. No good. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Can we please take this seriously? I'll take a look. So I was thinking, why don't we just drop the bomb down the shaft? Looks like it goes all the way to the bottom. Absolutely not. You heard, Hannah. We deploy the payload to the center of the hive. That's the mission. That's my... Access granted. Opening maintenance wing. Didn't we want thermal control? Huh. That's odd. Here they come. You want to open the correct door now? 
now. Well, if I wired it right, and I did, both doors should have opened. Access granted. Opening circuit. Oh, look at that. It just needed some time to think. Let's go. Snipers! Oh, you're kidding me! God damn it's not in here. We are in a volcano. Oh, and the actual jets of fire would do it. Come on! There's gotta be a way through. One of us needs to flank their position, or the others draw fire. Just think of it as the most insane delivery ever.
Initiating final climate stabilization. Ventilation station temperature temporarily stabilized. All personnel vacate immediately. I think we should take her advice. Goddamn army. I'm sick of your complaint. There's a door ahead, and we're going through it. Stabilizing temperature. Some sort of death wish. Not a death wish, Lord. But when the dust settles, I want to have made a goddamn difference. We're in. Let's go. We will fight our way inch by fucking inch if that's what it takes. 
We all took this mission to make a difference. And we have our orders, outsider. Now, let's make it count. Look, old man, all I know is I want our sacrifice to matter. Take a look around. We have to face the facts. The way things are going, this will all be for nothing. So, Lonnie, we almost there. Not even close. Uh, we made it this far. We'll find another way down. <laughs> Goddamn cog. Just can't admit defeat, can you? I'm done taking shit from you, boy. <laughs> to hell with the objective. The hell you doing? Making it count, brother. Move! Deadly toxin detected. All personnel must vacate safety. Don't stop! Deadly, It'll kill us too! Keep moving! Correctly. 
Enemies crossing overhead. Moving right to flank. Do these swarm bastards have nothing better to do? The island is on fire, you fucking idiot! That tree's gonna pin us in! Keep them off our right!
the plan! Hold these bastards off! Who needs ammo? was a failure. Not if we uncovered new data. Anything? The drones, Juvies, roasted them. Heavier swarm. We didn't have the punch we needed. You got anything stronger? Mm. Something that can sink the entire island, maybe. Or how about a few canisters of that nightmare acid that killed all them bastards on the beach, eh? Damn. You might be onto something. No, I was joking. Even if that could work, there's a problem. We don't know what's responsible for the attack or where to find it. Why, Leahy, my gran used to tell me stories about her people. How the young men and women would travel the ocean to face a god. It was their rite of passage. If 
anyone knows something about what we saw on the beach, it's my grandmother's people. Well, go then. Make contact. See what you can learn. Hannah, you prep for field work. I want you there to ask the right questions. I'm on it. Let's go, Scorpio.